Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here of Morbid Team Entertainment and Bolex Repair Philippines. In this video, we're going to go over light that could possibly leak into your viewfinder and how to stop it during filming and before filming. So let's get into that right now. Now the very first thing you're going to need when you uh, get your Bolex for the first time is of course send it off for a CLA clean lubed and adjustment after you've gotten it back when you first get it of course you're gonna need at any rate you need a rubber eye cup to go around the diopter the eyepiece right here rubber eye cup is gonna look like this we have these available for sale on Bullet Repair Philippines FB page you can check them out there now what's going to happen is, if you don't use an eye cup, when you look through this viewfinder right here, light is going to shine onto your eye, reflect back into the glass here, and onto your film. So after you get your film processed, there's going to be images of your eye inside your film. And this is true. So let's say you got your eye cup here, and you need to put it on. So how do you do that? Well, it's very simple. Around the eyepiece right here, there's an incision all the way around. Same thing inside the eye cup, basically. Around here. So what you do, take your eye cup and you fix it on to this little lip here into a little hole that goes all the way around and this piece here should come out to this side so go ahead and put this on And that's it. Right there, you got your rubber eye cup on. Next. Next, you're going to want to set your eyepiece right here. The diopter is adjustable. It turns. There's a piece on here. It looks kind of like a washer on some of them. And it has a locking screw. Mine. I customize it and set it and what I do is I've got small rubber bands that go around here quite frankly at any rate you go ahead and adjust it make sure it's set to your eye you do this with your glasses off for those of you who wear glasses always when looking through the viewfinder is glasses off so you set your focus do your light meter reading and you're ready to film okay so how can you stop any type of light from still coming in here and yes light can still come through here and peek in the back you could be shooting it in the morning afternoon dusk or at night you could have a bunch of vehicles behind you you're in a situation to where people are going to start driving their cars behind you cut on their lights and that type of thing and the light can, or the sun, and the light can shine through the back of here, right through the viewfinder, all the way to your film. So how can you prevent that? Well, Bolex was way ahead of you and there for you. What you do, once you've got everything set up, your entire shot set and ready to film, you go right here to this silver lever. When it's in this position, like so, depending on the model, each one of them one's a bit, hangs a bit different. Could be flat down here. Mine is up at this 11 o'clock position. This way you can see straight through the viewfinder. Okay, and all light can come through the viewfinder, the eyepiece, all the way through the 
reflex viewfinder system and onto your film. And you got your scene and your shot set. A lot of us like to take this lever here and flip it forward. This closes all light and visibility coming through the eyepiece, through the viewfinder reflex system. You build a film, but this will be closed, keeping all light from coming through. Let me show you in more detail. Next, the top viewfinder cover. Generally it would have one, two, three, four micro screws. Those of you who have been to my channel before do know that I do not keep the screws there, that I have them removed when film students and Bullock's enthusiasts do have questions. If you do have the screws, which I'm sure you do, remove them with a micro screwdriver. After you've done that, it's just a simple matter of lifting the plate up and forward, sliding off, just like so. Place that down, and the area of interest inside here is going to be up here in front. This area right here. If you look close, you can see a piece of black metal, and it's covering the glass in there. If I take my thumb and put it on this down here and I put it on this silver lever and I push it back, you can see this black piece of metal fold down and this way light will be able to come through the eyepiece all the way through the viewfinder and onto your film. All right, but to prevent light, unwanted light from coming through the viewfinder, and you can watch what's going on down here. Take my thumb and pull it forward and you'll see it move right back up, just like so, at the end of my pencil eraser. Next. Next in our quest of stopping unwanted light entering our film is right here. Make sure you always do a, in a way, a pre-flight check, if you will, with your camera. Make sure this filter holder is in place. If you're unfamiliar with this, pull it straight back. And this is a filter holder. In the center, you would have a colored gel in here. And you generally have a handful of these at least, these filter holders, and different colored filters red, yellow, blue, green, etc. When this filter holder is removed, From the turret here, in this area where it goes, light can enter inside and it will end up on your film. Now if you're into experimental filmmaking like me and you want some flares, some orange flares in there, and you can remove it if you wish, and it's going to give you that type of orange flare effect. However, if you don't want this type of effect intentionally, make sure you have your filter holder seated inside here. And it slides in again just like that. And what happens if you ordered your Bolex and you got it from eBay or another online market and you don't have one of these? Well, what you can simply do in this area, you'll need to put something. You need to put some tape straight over that. Some gaffing tape is really great because that stuff is strong. If you want to put some black electrical tape, you can do that. But make sure you take it off later. Don't ever leave that stuff in your camera. It will gunk your camera up. All right. And again.
again. Field to holder simply slides straight in like so. And speaking again of the filter holder, in case that you do not have one of these, you can apply a piece of gaffing tape. This stuff is really strong. It's a cotton tape. Historically always used for filmmaking. And put it right over the area. Make sure you get everything covered. There's no light leaks. Basically, just like so. If you're looking for the gaffing tape, check Bullock's Repair Philippines FB page, and we do have all the different colors there. Hope you've enjoyed this video and learned a lot. Do click that bell, subscribe, pull more bit of Morbid Team Entertainment and Bullock's Repair Philippines. Until next time, see ya!